Hi, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about XML processing with the help of the regular expressions and also using the X path to process your XML in the field. The XML processing. Whatever the XML file which you are having it, you can process that file using the two different ways. One is using the regular expression and the other one using the X path. So the first one is using the regular expression. You can just first load the data into the XML file into the Hadoop distributed file system and then you have to use a load command but there instead of a normal pit storage method what we will be seeing here is there is something called a XML loader. By default XML loaders will be coming with the installation of your pig. You can directly use that particular XML loader method there. And then we can use a regular expression to process this particular XML data. And let's assume that this is the input file which consisting of a property is the star tag and end tag. Inside that we do have a name tag. This name tag is consisting of a content. So I want to extract the content. What is there in between the name tags now? So to achieve that, first of all, I have to load the data into the Hadoop, I mean into the pig grant shell. But before that, we do have something called a piggybank.jar. So what exactly this piggybank.jar is nothing but all the built-in functions and some of the pig by default functions, everything will be available as part of the piggybank.jar that comes once you do the pig installation, that piggybank.jar also comes with the installation. And if you want to use any of these loaders, we do have a different loader. This is for the XML and we do have separate loader for the log files. CSVs also we do have a separate loader. If you want to use that any type of the storage or loader, you must need to register your piggybank.jar to the path where it is list. And so here I just log into my Cloudera Quick Start VM and let's prepare an input file. And here let's call our input file as a XML input 1 and inside this we can put a content a property which starts with the properties and inside this we do have a name tag. Just save this and once you create this input file you must need to load that into the Hadoop distributed file system. For that just use Hadoop FS copy from local home cloud error and here you will be having XML input 1 that is the input file which you will be, we will be having it and let's specify our direct HDFS file path and that's it. You see this, the particular file has been successfully loaded over here, XML input 1. And now we can use the grunt shell and we can uh, use the XML loaders to process this particular file. And here we have to register our piggybank.jar, so that is available in your Cloudera Quick Start VM as part of your user lib and pick directory. Inside this we can see the piggybank.jar. So now just open your grunt shell and just register this particular piggybank.jar. So I am in my grunt shell and I am simply registering my piggybank.jar. User loop pig is the directory. Oh, and here there are two slashes for the, yeah. So now we are all set. Register user lib pig slash piggybank.jar. Yes. We have registered that and we can use that XML loader to load this XML data. And so over here what we are doing here is we are loading it and we are loading the XML input 1 
which we already created in the previous uh, thing. See here, this is the XML file which we created and we call it as XML input 1. So in the grunt shell, I am using that uh, load this file name and here we are using the XML loader. This is a by default XML loader. If you want to process XML XML anytime, you can use this default XML loader. And here we are calling the name and uh, we are giving some schema. So whatever the line by line, it you know whatever it reads the first line, it's called that as a doc. In that doc variable, that small line will go here. So once it is done. And we can use the uh, regular expressions to extract the content in between the name tag. And so, so here, this data consisting of a multiple lines. So to navigate across the line by line, we must need to use the for each generate statement. So if you see this, for each, for each generate of the previous reference. And first of all, I'm using the regular expression. I'm extracting the content. This doc consisting of each and every line. And if it's whatever the content is there between the name tags. This is the start name and the end name. Right? If you observe your input file, this is how it looks like. So what it is going to do is whatever is in between the start name and the end name, the content, the middle of the content will be pulled out. So that is how you know, we are just extracting the content between these name tags and we are just loading that into the some variable called a name. And just dump it dump these values, you can see these uh, uh, the content in between your uh, uh, name tags, you can see on, on top of your screen. So if you, if you see the output of this content, see here, hello world, how are you? So how exactly it has been pulled out is nothing but, this is the input file, it has read line by line and because of the regular expression, it has taken the content in between these name tags and then it has pulled out these content and it displayed as the content over here. This is how you can process your XMLs. And uh, to process your XML, so we can also use the extract. In the previous example, we have seen how to write our regular expression. Or else with an easy way is to use the export as well. So from the PIG 0.13 version onwards, uh, the piggy bank we have come with this particular export support in which you can uh, parse your uh, do the XML parses, parsing with the help of this XPath very easily. You can do the text ext extraction, like in between the tags, whatever the text you want to extract, you can directly do that with the help of the XPath. So in the Cloud Era Quick Start VM, so the by default piggy, down, piggy bank dot jar which is available under your user lib pig directory, it is not having the XPath definition. So what I recommend you is to do is download this particular piggybank.jar from the particular below link from the NVN repository, Maven repository. You can directly download and which gets automatically downloaded into your home Cloudera downloads folder. Piggybank-0.150.jar hyphen is the file which gets downloaded as part of this. And now we can directly use this, uh, we can use this as an input file, the property file consisting of a multiple uh, um, tags. So easily we can uh, process this particular multiple tags with the help of the X path. For that, first of all, let's register that uh, piggybank.jar, whatever is downloaded. Let me log into the Cloudera Quick Start VM and show you. And here, you can directly open the link which I have given uh, to download this uh, piggybank.jar. And here uh, there is a download option, download jar. Just click on this, save that file in your uh, uh, downloads folder. If you observe this CD downloads, this piggy bank.jar file has been downloaded. So I can refer this particular file uh, to refer this my piggy bank.jar from the grunt shell. So in the grunt shell, I'm going to register it, register and the jar file name. The jar file name is home cloud error. Under the downloads, we do have this uh, Piggyband dot zero dot sixteen jar. Yes, we registered it, and then we can uh, simply define uh, this particular jar path file as well. That is, um, instead of using the entire org dot apache dot pig dot piggyband evaluation dot xml dot path everywhere, what what I can do is I'm just giving a name to this particular entire path. I'm just calling it as a x path. So wherever I wanted to use the x path method, I can directly define with this variable, I can directly call it with this. That is the reason why you will do this. 
that we have defined and now we can uh, load the data our XML input file if you see this we already created the XML input file which consisting of a property tag and inside this I do have my first name last name and also the state I belong to you can see this particular input file over here see this property tag inside this first name last name state tag consists so I'm just loading this input file and I'm using this XML loader initially and then whatever the content is there in between my property tag it will be going here and now I can use the for each generate statement to see here I'm using the for each generate of this big data I'm navigating across the one by one and here the beauty of this export method is nothing but see here from this input what you wanted to extract I wanted to extract properties the main tag and f name then you can directly define see this property by f name that will fetch this particular value called shavanti and when I use the property by l name and it fetches the value called k my last name so that is very easy to define now if you are not want to use any regular expression just use the x path and you can directly refer uh, which path name and which is the parent and which is the child one which you wanted to extract it from so just dump it dump the values automatically on top of your screen you can see the values called shavanti and k as part of your screen this is how with the help of the x path our parsing will be very easier by simply specifying our master tag and also the child tag under that. And if you see this, you can see the value over here, Shavanti and K. This is how you can extract the values with the help of the X path. And whatever the commands I have written over here, if you wanted to put that in the script, you can just execute each and everything as part of the a single folder for instance here here itself I'm creating a file uh, called a gedit uh, some XML export alright so let, let's call it as XML export.pg is this particular script file so whatever the command which I executed like register define on the for each generate loading all the commands I can put it over here and I can directly execute it yeah so if you see the uh, the content, the script over here, what you can do is you can simply open a new terminal over here and then you can create any of the file called uh, gedit and here which we have created a script. This particular script name ending with the, some dot pig or so XML XPath is the just name I have given into this. Inside this what you can do is you can enter whatever all the commands you have entered right, right now like register, define, pick data, value but instead of dumping because dumping just displays over the screen so instead of that we are simply using the store values that means store whatever the content output we get here we are just storing into this my xml all right so anything even the weather data set also you can directly write that uh, content as part of the script file and you can directly save this uh, particular script file and whenever you wanted to use that, you can directly execute this with the help of pig and give the pig file name. Pig and pig file name, it will submit this to the cluster. It will submit this particular job to the cluster and you can see the output. If you see this, automatically my job has been submitted to the cluster and it is successful. But you can't see the uh, output directly because it is a store into. Right, so that is the reason why what you can do is just use the after successful of the job Hadoop FSLS and here my XML is the name right whatever the name you have specified as part of your content then you can directly use that and you can see the file name there yeah and this is the file name uh, this is it is smaller so that it get opened up yeah so this is the directory get automatically created because we have uh, specified that as a store store that is the reason why it got created a folder as part of your Hadoop distributed file system you can just simply do a cat the output whatever it is there to process the XML right my name and my first name and the last name Shravan TK you can see that as a result this is how 
instead of you can execute that line by line result otherwise you can directly execute it as part of the script and also there is another way you can open your browser over here and uh, inside your browser there is something called a view user interface is there you can directly click on this particular view and there when we see the hive uh, execution uh, right so there is a ui here uh, to execute your hive query similar way to execute your pig also we do have the query editor there is a query editor for for pig you can directly click on the query editor and pig and there you can directly execute whatever the command is there you can directly enter the command over here whatever the commands you want to execute and then you can submit this particular script thank you summary in this module we have seen how to process the xmls with the help of the xml loader uh, using the regular expression and also using the xpath and also we have understand that how the pig scripts can be written and also how to execute the pig script using the command line grunt shell and using the script and also using the ui as part of your cloud era pig start vm new shell Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.